1989, when Harry Met Sally famously brought the conversation of fake orgasms out of the bedroom and into the mainstream. I think they have an okay time. Sadly, there has been little progress, and too many women are still faking, faking, faking. I'll have what she's having. Believe it or not, over 67% of heterosexual women today admit to regularly faking orgasms. With National Orgasm Day approaching, Acadia saw the perfect occasion to rally around this important topic. We teamed up with femtech company Velo Bioscience Inc. to encourage women to stop faking it through a month-long social media campaign promoting Vela's Women's Pleasure Serum. But if there's one thing we know for sure, it's that social media loves to censor sex. In order to have an open conversation about women's pleasure, we had to get creative. On TikTok, we spread awareness by focusing not just on orgasms, but the whole range of things women fake for the sake of their partners. Women fake their emotions, their smiles, and even their appetites, all in the name of trying to please others. Enough, right? Oops, I faked it again. On Instagram, we let our users lead the conversation. Weekly anonymous question stickers encouraged women to speak up, while influencers and sex experts provided tips on how to break the cycle. By National Orgasm Day, our results were explosive. We tripled our followers on TikTok, reached record high engagement and growth on Instagram, and our social media efforts drove so much traffic to the website that the Pleasure Serum ran low. Beyond that, our campaign has had a direct impact on the sex life of our consumers. From private DMs to public testimonials, we heard America's, okay, become a true, resounding, oh yes, 